I can remember the day and the moment she first mentioned Mark. I knew something was different. Nikki was excited and happy, but in a measured way. There was a seriousness in her falling for Mark. These were two adults that came together and knew this is it. Nikki and Mark met online, even though they lived only six blocks apart. When that happened, you could see happiness seeping into her life. It was like she was seeing a technicolor. Nikki smiled more, and we all knew what Mark meant to her. The Lord our God, who accompanied the servant of Patriarch Abraham to Mesopotamia, when he was sent to find a bride for his master Isaac, and through the watering of the well revealed that he should betroth Rebekah. Bless the Lord, the betrothal of these your servants. Mark and Nikki, confirm the promise they have made to one another. Fortify them by your divine unity. For you from the beginning created man and woman, and by your will are they joined to one another. Yes, Lord our God, look down upon your servants, Mark and Nikki, and strengthen their betrothal in faith, concord, truth, and love. I think finding Nikki was so worth the wait. She is a wonderful person. I think their personalities complement each other. Mark and, and Nikki were neighbors in your big city, Philadelphia, but it took Mark three years to find her. Now I know he's a smart guy, but sometimes he's pretty slow on getting on <laughs> But now we have a different situation. You know, they're both wedded now and they're off and running. Nikki told me a lot of stories about Mark when they first met, and she really liked him, and she was really excited about him. When I met Mark, and I saw how happy he made her, and how he took care of her, she, she seemed like she was much calmer when she was around him. And I mean, damn, Mark, he looks like Captain America. Like, he looks like Captain America, he's a nice as hell guy, and he is a cancer doctor? My wife, Nikki. You look beautiful tonight. I love you. And I'm so happy that we're sharing this journey together. I would ask Mark periodically about dating and uh, never got a straight answer until he met Nikki and then it was kind of like I met a girl, and we knew she was the one. As Mark's parents, we would like to take this opportunity to tell you how very grateful we are to all of you who made the effort to join us this evening. Together we begin to celebrate this special weekend of our Nikki and Mark and their upcoming wedding tomorrow. As Tony and I just celebrated our 50th anniversary, <laughs> we extend to Nikki and Mark many happy years together as well and our love and best wishes for a healthy and happy future. May God bless them. Kalispera, Kalispera. It's good evening for those of you that are non-Greek. A feristo, thank you. I am not Greek. <laughs> I'm here to report to Nikki's loved ones that they are getting a groom whose innate personality, whose DNA and exceptional upbringing is a groom that will be undoubtedly a fantastic husband. And, 
And we know that Mark is in love because he's bringing a Nikki into a family that already has a Vicky. That's Brian's wife, Vicky. So now we have Brian and Vicky and Mark and Nikki. And who would do that if they weren't in love? You know, they say that opposites attract. And I think it's true in, in many ways in this case. Because Mark is a bit subdued. And Nikki has kind of a big personality. I don't know if you've noticed. And Nikki's enthusiasm is infectious. She is upbeat all the time. And we really have come to love her. You know, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say she was worth the wait and welcome to the family. And if you guys would all, would you uh, raise your glass to Mark and Vicky? I mean, Nikki. I leave you with the words of a Stoic philosopher, Hecaton, who lived on the Greek Isle of Rhodes in the second century BC. Hecaton said, I will re reveal to you a love potion without any medicine, without herbs, without any witch's magic. If you want to be loved, then love to Nikki and Mark. She was always a lot of energy. She was always very positive and very friendly to people and very open, very organized. Oh, she's always very serious and very driven, but also always with a very good sense of humor. My dearest Nikki, many years ago, Michael Bada from Greece, mentioned to me a tradition of putting a little teeny weeny luck either in your dress or in Mark's and the other person would have the key which meant to luck each other's love for their future together. Hey, sister. Our sisterhood is such a gift and is so beautiful because unlike being actual sisters this is by choice. We have grown up together and been through literally everything together. Really beautiful. Yeah. We put in the work, even though, quite honestly, it's effortless. Nikki is full of life, wonder, and is going to be an incredibly free spirited woman. I'm proud she's chief of staff, a self given title, but very apropos. <laughs> of the company my father started. She makes us better than good. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, Daddy. You look so nice. Well, thank you. Hi. I don't want to mess up your makeup. I know, there's a lot. Yeah, we're working. Mm-hmm. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. I like it. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> don't cry. Oh, do, do get it over with. Okay. We'll have to wake up, you know. <laughs> so we were thrilled when Mark suggested that Christina and I come to Fairmount to meet Nikki and uh, we went out to dinner and just found her to be so full of life, such a big and positive personality. She has this way of, you know, her eyes lighting up and her face being so expressive when she is excited about something, which is pretty much just anything that was going on in our lives. Mark has always been a supreme overachiever. For instance, in elementary school, the March of Dines Foundation organized a reading Olympics to raise money for children born with birth defects. Students who participated solicited commitments for donations in advance on a per book basis. For instance, 10 cents for each book read by the sponsored child. 
A respectable and very solid effort for the Reading Olympics was, let's say, 25 books read. Mark Diamond, 500 books read. <laughs> Needless to say, a number of his per book donors had second thoughts the next time he asked them to support him. I must have met him when he was about four, and it has been such a pleasure to see this kid that was so strong in Little League and academically and so nice and so kind thrive and get into Princeton and then go to an amazing medical school but decide to be a PhD and it's been a pleasure to watch him thrive and always humbly doing his best. Mark has a pure and been a very tender heart. This tender heart has guided him to be a caring, sensitive, compassionate, and fiercely loyal person. Mark, continue to listen to your voice inside. Mark, it's our wedding day. When I met you, it's as if I truly saw life in color for the first time. Everything came into focus. You are everything that is inherently good, patient, sweet, generous, and I am so grateful that we found one another. You make me a better person, the best version of myself. Let's enjoy today and celebrate our love with everyone we love. I will always be by your side. You are my today and all of my tomorrows. Vilakia agapimu. Love, Nikki. beautiful. Today you become my wife. Nikki, I can't believe it's finally here. As I am writing this on the morning of our wedding day, I couldn't be more excited to marry you. Today we take our first steps together as husband and wife. In you, I have everything I could hope for in a partner. You're thoughtful, caring, supportive, generous, beautiful, kind, funny, and smart. Seeing you smile makes me happy and I hope that I can make you smile every day. I know when you first walk in with your dad to your surprise processional music and I see you smile, you will take my breath away. I love you and can't wait to see you. Relationships involve merging spiritually so that God is present at the center of each important bond. He's an endless supply of love and grace and the things we need most to stay happily united with each other. There was a beautiful image, so everybody knows, just before we began the service. And it was Nikki walking into the church. The first thing she did was walk right over to the candles, pick up a candle, and light a candle asking for our Lord's blessing upon them. It's a beautiful symbol, and I want, I want it to follow the two of you the, your entire lives, because today it's not just Mark and Nikki getting married and going off on their own. It's Mark, Nikki, and Jesus Christ. You create a trinity here. You really do. And just as you light that candle, calling and inviting Christ into your lives, allow him to stay and walk with you in all that you do. The servant of God, Mark, is betrothed. The servant of God, Nikki, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Nikki, is betrothed. to The servant of God, Mark, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord our God, crown them with honor and glory, wisdom. The Prochemenon, you have set upon their heads crowns of precious stones. God bless you, Mark and Nikki. Keep your love, your precious and beautiful love. What brought the two of you together? Keep that alive 
Allow that to forge your path forward in everything that you do. Mark, at this time, you may kiss your lovely bride. Nikki and Mark. This couple exemplifies the ideal of good health, sense of humor, a humility, hearts of gold, and also a love of life and humanity. But as we say in the Navy, maybe they be blessed with fair winds and the following seas. So let's give a cheer for the married couple. I wish you and Mark a future filled with love, compassion, understanding, and um, forgiveness for one another. And may you always find the sunshine in your daily lives. Love you both and all the best. Nikki, you have captured Mark's tender heart. As you are fully aware, Mark certainly has a very methodical approach to most things in life. Or as some would say, he's slow as molasses. Thus, while at times he may struggle a bit to fully express his emotions deep inside, those feelings are always there and may just need the support of your love to bring them to the surface. The first few times we met Mark, he was endearing and sweet and kind. But Mark, you are special to me for the biggest reason you can imagine. He showed up at my hospital bedside hours after I delivered my daughter, Willa, with the sweetest gifts and the kindest smile. Mark, I'm not going to say welcome to the family, or I'm gaining a brother, because quite honestly, when my little girl comes to you and asks you for a hug and to read her a book, it's pretty clear you're already part of the family. I want the both of you to know how happy I am for you. And Nikki, I can rest easy knowing you have found your true love. Thank you, Mark, for making my daughter so happy. I think I speak for the whole room when I say, we could not be happier or more excited for you. We love witnessing your love, and we all get to go home in complete bliss, knowing that you two are happy. Mark and Nikki, we wish you both the very best as you start your journey together, and pray for a long, deliberate path of bountiful blessings. Just remember to enjoy those moments together as you enter the ever increasingly busy cycle of life and perhaps even pack a plentiful chunk of aged cheese for the journey. Nikki and I met online and the first time that we met in person was at TRIA in Center City. 
Um, I was running a few minutes late. I was texting from the cab to try and avoid any sort of awkwardness in recognizing each other. I texted, um, I'm going to be wearing a black jacket. And uh, Nikki texted me back, um, I'm wearing neon shoes. <laughs> So truly, the first thing I noticed about Nikki was her bright yellow neon shoes. But the second thing I noticed about Nikki was her beautiful smile. I would come to know Nikki has a, an affinity for bright colors. So I think it was, it was fitting that this first impression with her bright yellow neon shoes, because Nikki, uh, you brighten every room with your smile. You brighten every day, any situation with your energy and presence. You've infused color into my life in so many ways, and I look forward to many years of smiles, laughter, and colorful memories with you. I love you. And I would say that Mark Diamond exemplifies Greek time, having been late repeatedly throughout his life, unless his mother was involved, in which case he was on time. He was even late to his first date with Nikki, presumably because his mother wasn't invited. Hi, Hi. I love you. You know what I'm saying, Mark. Nikki's the best. Watch out, Mark. There you go, Mark. We love you. because she was so excited about him. She shot him a text, and he didn't get back to her in time. And she was like complaining to me. She's like, I sent him a text, and maybe he doesn't like me, he didn't respond back in time. And I was like, dude, like how many times do you say to someone, relax, you're not curing cancer? Like the homeboy is like actually trying to cure cancer. Like, can you give him a minute? You know, he's an inner city kid that grew up in Washington, but he never had an opportunity while he was there to vote for anyone who represented him on Congress. He told me not to say me to get into that, but I had to do it. But now his mother and I are still waiting for that opportunity to put in a representative for that because we're not citizens. You know, they consider us subjects just like the Puerto Ricans and everybody else. So help us out in the future, if you will. Okay. Ago, I was in her office to collect some pictures for this weekend. And I'm standing outside of uh, her father's conference room, which has a glass wall so I can see him, but his back's to me because he's doing dis business, he's doing a deal. And she is outside the conference room yelling at him, Dad, come out and meet Todd. Dad, come out and meet Todd. And I'm like, I'm shushing, and she's yelling, and I'm shushing, and she's yelling. And I had to think, I wondered if her teachers, when she was growing up, ever wanted, as I wanted at that moment, to have a piece of duct tape. Oh. 
Nikki is doing a shot for Gail. Woo!